a disastrous few months has seen us lose the league title and so now we're playing Bolton for the third time this season in the playoffs in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 42 of my Kingsley Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. If you're enjoying this series so far, please pop a like down below. That would be much appreciated. And yep guys, we have got Bolton today in the playoffs Depending how long that goes and if we get through that game, I might bring you the next round of the playoffs. We'll play it by ear, see what happens. But yeah, it's been a while since we've last been together and I am so nervous about showing you what's been going on. Obviously, you've heard in the intro, you know we've not won the league like we was competing for all season. Oh, let's just rip the band-aid off. Let's rip the band-aid off. Oh! You was with me last for the double header against Salford and Halifax. We won both of those games and I was feeling confident. But then I loaded the save up again like later that night, I think it was. And God knows what went wrong. And the more it went wrong, the more determined I was to stay on there and to try and fix it when maybe the smarter thing to do would have been to take a day away and just relax and get me brain together. But I just wasn't in that headspace. And so following the Halifax game, we lost to Hereford. We lost to York in the FA Trophy. We lost to Stockport. We got a point versus Eastleigh. And then we finally got a win against Macclesfield. 2-1 win there. But then March was blooming awful. Like two losses there. Basingstoke and Yeovil. Chelmsford and Bromley. Two 2-2 two, two draws. Can I say two any more times? And then Sutton. 1-1 one, one draw. And then this game. This was the one I was going to come back for. The Boston United one. But like I said, by the time... We've got to this. I was like, I'm fixing this. I'm fixing this. But absolutely disastrous defeat there. 4-0 loss to our local rivals. Humiliating, embarrassing. Quite glad I didn't bring you that in the end. But then after that, we did get a 2-1 win. And you can see here that this is where we started playing about with different formations. Trying to figure out anything to get it working. We went back to the 4-4-1-1, got it working there against Chorley and then got a point against South Shields. But then that was one of the last points we got. In fact, we only got one more, that there against Port Vale. We lost to Dagenham and Redbridge, lost to Torquay, lost to Barnet on the last day. Mad game there, both teams ending up with 10 men. So, yeah, disastrous. And so, as you can see up the top, we finished fourth in the league. Absolutely disastrous end. Let me get it up on the big screen for you. And, yeah, we've gone from top, battling with Port Vale for the league, being two, three, four points ahead, I think. And so, yeah, we've gone from battling with them to losing the league by 11 points. And absolutely awful run and now I don't know how the playoffs work in this league because obviously there's one two three four five six teams in it so I'm guessing it's similar to the league below how second and third get a bye into the next round I'm guessing I have no idea actually let me have a look on the rules where are we first round um da, 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 da. yeah two teams get a bye so second and third get a bye and then there's three rounds in this. So maybe might bring you all the games today if we do get all the way to the final. Not that I'm expecting us to, obviously. After the disastrous run we have been on. And yeah, we need we need a win. If we could get out of this league at the first attempt, that would be very nice. Because our finances are going... Brrr, 
we we need to go up first time. So let's have a look at the projection. Uh, end of this season, 147k. So they're saying it's gonna we, we we're gonna get 100k from somewhere. Okay, and so oh look at that by end of next season. Oh my days, 713k in debt, and then season after that, 1.2. Whoops. And also, speaking of 100k, a little bit of transfer news. I did not bring you in the last episode that I meant to. Let's go transfers. Let's go transfer history. We sold Bernardo Rosa for 100k to Dundalk in Ireland. And yeah, he never really kicked off for us, did he? We bought him at the start of last season. He only ever got one competitive goal for us. Never looked like doing too much. And so I thought I'd get rid of him. 100k. I thought that might help with the finances. But apparently it hasn't. Unfortunately. And so yeah, he's left the club. As has Dong De He. The young man we got off Burnley. He, again, he's another one. Sort of struggled with Adam Marriott being in the team. He never really got a game. But then having said that, maybe I've missed a trick because he scored two goals in League One. Oops. Maybe that's not my finest hour. We'll see how he gets on next year for Wimbledon. We'll check up on him at the end of next season. And so, enough, enough rambling, enough rabbiting. Shall we get into this game? It's one of them that I've been, I couldn't wait to do, but then also I didn't want to do in case it goes tits up. And so, let's go and get into the team for this massive game. Rightly or wrongly, we've gone back to what worked for us for most of the season. We've got Herbin in goal, Wilson at left back, Andrew Unpronounceable is alongside the big man Barnett in the middle of our defence, Dylan Crow is at right back, and then in the middle of the pitch, we've got Lewis, McCarthy, Simmons, DiMaggio, Wright, Phillips, and then up top, it has been the one big decision I've had to make. And I've gambled. I've gone with Mundell up front alongside Aberdeen Goodridge instead of Adam Marriott. Please let that be the right decision. The bookmakers have Bolton as the favourites, despite them being in really bad form as well. And as you can see, we've beaten Bolton once and drawn against them once. Again, another reason why I went for the 4-4-1-1 is that it's worked both times against Bolton this season. So hopefully it will carry on doing so today. Let's go and get into the dressing room. We're in the dressing room. Any guesses what the assistant's going to do? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely shocking there. And so let's go assertive. Uh, it's time to put an end to this poor run of form. Only one person motivated. And now go for the old, i got to have faith. And now, come on, come on. All right then, everyone but two is motivated. What do you predict for a game like this? A complete one-off game. 1-0 one us. 1-0 us is what I'm going to say. Come on, Kingsland. 15 minutes into the game. And Bolton have the first highlight. Riley with it. Hits it against Lewis, who gets it back. And gives it to Wilson. And he spins there. Goes to Lewis. To McCarthy. He plays it long. And Goodridge brings the ball down. He's into the box. Is he going to take the shot on? Or is he going to wait for a teammate? He's pulled it back to Mundell. And now can he get it to someone? No, he can't. Eventually he does. McCarthy. Simmons. McCarthy now. Out wide. Gordon heads it away. Simmons with the ball. To McCarthy. And now what's McCarthy going to do? Goes out wide. And DiMaggio, can he keep this in? Yes, he does. He crosses it into the box, but they head it away. And Timms gets it away to the centre circle. This is a very long back and full highlight. Nagandu coming forward with a long shot. And that has gone wide. 25 minutes gone in front of an absolutely packed, sold-out walk stadium. As now Bolton have the ball, but we've managed to get it away. And it's all Bolton at the moment. Armstrong with it. He plays it centrally. Goes to Riley. Back to Armstrong. He tries to go over the top, but Crow heads it away. 
And now it's McCarthy on the counter. He goes long. Goodridge, can he beat his man for pace? Yes, he does. He's in the box, but he's got no help. He needs somebody to come help him soon. He's had to go for the shot himself. And that was disappointing. Last 10 minutes of the first half, Godfrey with the ball for Bolton to Riley. To Godfrey on the left-hand side. To Riley. And now can we get this ball back? No, we can't. Armstrong in the centre circle plays it long and our giant heads the ball away. And now Mundell with it. Mundell, he needs someone to run ahead of him. He doesn't get it, so he goes to Simmons, to DiMaggio. And can he run at his man? Can he get past him? I think he has. No, he hasn't. But he's crossed it in from deep, gets headed away and Gordon is going to hoof it. And now can we get this? Yes, we can. McCarthy, Simmons, McCarthy. Plays it out wide. DiMaggio's in space now. And now can he get the ball into the box? He crosses it in. Goes to Lewis. To McCarthy in space. And it's hit a Bolton man there. But we've got a second chance at it. And Simmons with the ball. So close to getting that in. That's the half-time whistle. It's still nil-nil. But it's been a decent game to watch, I think. We've had six shots. to their seven. Two on target. to their one. No clear-cut chances for either side. We've had a smidge more of the possession. And this has been a very even game. I haven't got a clue what way this is going to go. Let's go into the team talk. Let's go passionate. Uh, we deserve to win this match. A few people are motivated. And then go, I have faith. I have faith. Oh, can we get a full house? No, we can't. So, 45 minutes left. I would still love a 1-0 win. Come on, you Linnets. Two minutes into the second half. McCarthy with the ball. But we get it crossed in as he loses it. And now Simmons to Lewis. He's, can he find a teammate? Goes to Simmons who needs to turn. He's gone for the sign. We're leading. We are leading in the playoff first round against Bolton. Xavier Simmons. What a time to finally get his first of the season. Oh my gosh. What a goal this is. Look at this turn he does here. Lewis gets it to Simmons. Turns and then oh, curls it round his teammate. I think that might have been Mundell. And oh, what a goal. 25 minutes left to go in the game. We're just making the one change. Ewan Murray is coming on for Callum McCarthy. McCarthy's had a decent game, but I want to bring Murray on for his free kick specialism. Specialism? Is that a word? It sounds like a word. I'm not sure if it is, but you know what I mean. And so, yeah, Murray's coming on for that. Can we hold on to what would be a massive win? Just under 10 minutes left and we've got a highlight. Goodridge with the ball. Can he get it to a teammate? Yes, he does. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips into Ewan Murray. Plays it over the top and Goodridge is in the box. Can he make sure of the win? No, he can't. I think it's gone out for a corner ball. Indeed it has. And I have just seen that this is indeed a complete sellout of the walks. 8,250-odd people in the ground. So that's going to be good for the finances. And now, can we get this ball back into the box after that poor corner? No, we cannot. Yes! Finally, for the first time in this save, we have won a game in the playoffs. We've beaten Bolton in a very even game. We had 11 shots to their 13, 5 on target to their 6. One clear-cut chance we had, and we still had that smidge more of the possession. Let's go into the dressing room. Let's go team talk, and let's go passionate. A very nice victory. Well done. And so, you know what? We are going to carry on for at least the next round of the playoffs. And so, I'll be back with you for that in just a second. As you can see, we've been drawn away against Yeovil. They're the favourites to win the game. They've beaten us twice. We've beaten them once in the history of the save. And just looking for any sort of omens I can get. I've just had a look at our home record and our away record for the season. In fact, I'll bring it up for you. Where are we? Stages, stages, stages. And then if we look at our home record, we are 8th in the league for our home record. But... Our away record, we're third. So, 
could be a decent chance this. So let's go and get into the game. We've got the same team as the last game. Everybody's still fit. So I saw no reason to change anything. So now let's get into the dressing room. Oh, a miracle has happened as we walk into the dressing room. Our assistant has set an instruction for one player. Wow, this must be a big game if even my assistant is doing his job. And now let's go passionate. Uh, oh, you deserve to be in the final. I don't want to say I expect you to make it happen. I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened when we last played the Oval. I think we're going to go for that one. And yep, yeah, that is the right answer. We're going to leave it there. I got the prediction right in the earlier game. So I'm going to go for the same again here. 1-0. Come on, Kingsley. Three minutes in, Yeovil with a corner ball and their header has gone over and we survive at 0-0 for the second. Oh no, it's all Yeovil early days. We need to get this ball away. Mundell's got it, goes to Lewis who just lumps it forward. But Goodridge cannot win the ball. But Mundell gets it back off their pass. He's played it through. Aberdeen is in. Is he able to put the ball in the back of the net? No, he's not. But it's gone out for a corner ball. Come on, Kingsley. Come on. Corner ball coming up. Who's taking it? It is Dylan Crow. It's going to be an outswinger. And it does indeed go out. Cover, heads it away. Barnett flicks it back to Crow. His second chance at the cross goes away again. Non-stop highlights in this game. Crow goes long. Mundell does not get the ball there. Smith does in the green and white. And now Cover on the left-hand side. Plays it forward. Barnett heads it away. Jones with it. And now to cover again. He has a second chance at the long ball. Hurst tries to get onto it, but our giant there winning it back. DiMaggio back to Barnett. And now he goes long. Can Goodridge get onto this? No, he doesn't. Frost with the ball back to James. He goes long. Andrew unpronounceable winning it there. McCarthy long. Goodridge is in again for his second chance of the game. And again, it's been saved. 25 minutes gone, it's us with a throw in. Wilson to Lewis, back to Wilson on our left hand side. Wilson goes to Andrew Unpronounceable, who plays it in the middle to Simmons, out wide. Lewis has got it. Can he get himself into the box? No, he doesn't, but he crosses it. Goodridge! Goodridge with the goal! Yes! Once again, we are leading in the playoffs. That's Aberdeen Goodridge's 10th of the season. And we have sent our 450-odd away fans absolutely mental behind that goal there. Lewis with the ball, crossed it in. Goodridge hit it first time. Their keeper had no chance. 35 minutes gone now. Crow with a corner for us. DiMaggio Wright Phillips is in the box. Can he square it? No, he can't. It gets blocked by Hurst, who plays it long to Davies. And Davies with the ball and he's beaten his defender there. He, has he got anyone to help him? No, he hasn't, but he might not need it. He's gone for the shot and he's not needed it. Yeovil a level. Isaac Davies equalises almost immediately with his ninth of the season. Oh, our defence should have done better there. Once Davies got past his man there, who was it? Andrew Unpronounceable. What is he doing out there? And then this is Wilson here, who's come all the way across the pitch. And so, yeah, not great defending from anybody there, really. And Yeovil have equalised. What a game. Oh, a minute before half-time. Frost with a free kick for Yeovil. And Yeovil, oh, oh, off the line. Off the line, we've scrambled it. We need to get into the dressing room and sort our heads out. And that is the half-time whistle. Seven shots they've had, two are four. Six on target, two are three. We've had two clear-cut chances apiece. We've had quite a bit more of the ball. So let's go into the dressing room. Let's go passionate again. And uh, if everyone continues to work hard, we'll win this. Eh, not much reaction there. There's more to come from you. And there's more to come from you. And pretty much everybody is motivated. Come on, one more goal. We can win this. Come on, you Linnets. 
20 minutes left to go in this game. No highlights as of yet in the second half. And we've just made the one sub, the same one as in the first game. Ewan Murray coming on for Callum McCarthy. Might bring on Joseph Fitchett for DiMaggio if things don't go well. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Well, no highlights whatsoever in that second half. So we are going to extra time. They've had 11 shots, 2 our 7 9 on target, 2 our 6 No more clear-cut chances for either side. But we have dominated possession now. I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to do this. I'm not going to make any subs in this first part of extra time. I'm going to wait for Yeovil to get really tired. And then I might throw on some fresh legs. That seems like it might be the idea. And so let's go dressing room. Let's go passionate. Uh, let's go back to what we said before the game. We can avenge what happened when we last played Yeovil. Mm, not much reaction there. There's more to come from you. There's more to come from you. And please tell me there's more to come from you, Goodridge. He doesn't think there is. But here we go. Extra time, boys. Oh, first highlight of extra time. We're five minutes in. Scrimshaw goes back to cover to Milanovic. And he's got it and can and he goes to Smith. Can we get this ball back, please? They're just passing it in between themselves. Covers out wide in space. Is he going to get the ball into the box? No, he's not. He's going to go back to Mila, M M Milovanovic. And then goes to Richardson. Out wide. White Phillips nods it down. Mundell plays it long. Goodridge, he's in. He is in. He's in space. He's into the box. Can he get the ball in the back of the net? He does! Yes! We are leading again. Surely now we got to hold on to this. Goodridge is becoming a Kingsland legend in one video here. What a very nice goal this is. The composure he had to just slide it past the keeper's hands. Come on, Kingsland. Oh no, oh no. Just before half time, in extra time, Yeovil have got a corner. Scrimshaw's in space and they're level again. Oh. Oh, what a game this is. Oh, my days. Scrimshaw with his 16th of the season. Oh, Fuelings put it in. And then Scrimshaw took one touch. And his second touch gave Herbin absolutely no chance. Oh, what do you do now? What do you do now? I had the plan to get the tired players off. But if we're looking like this might be going penalties... Do I really want to be taking the likes of DiMaggio White Phillips off? I don't know. Answers down below. What would you do right now? Let me know. And let's go tactics as I turn my mouse on. And, oh no, not tactics. Oh, I can't even do a team talk, can I? Because it's extra time. Oh, I'm losing my head. Oh, I don't know what to do here. Oh, I don't want to get the giant off either, but he's tired. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm going to leave it how it is and see how we get on for the next five, ten minutes. Come on, Linnets. Oh, I, I still don't know what to do. I, I, What is Fitzit's penalty taking like? Fitzit's penalty taking is four... DiMaggio's has got to be better than that. Uh, not much. Diaz, right? You're 13 for penalties. I'm thinking of bringing you on, son. What is Simmons? Simmons is only three. All right, then. Oh, here we go. Diaz, right, for Xavier Simmons. And what's Marriott's penalty taking like, actually? I might bring him on for Mundell. Penalty taking of 12. Mundell's. He's had a very good game, though. But it's only a four. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to make that one change. Decision made. Oh, decision not made. I've bottled it. I'm absolutely... No, you know what? Who else have we got? Who else have we got who we can just take off who's crap at penalties? Penalty taking five. Uh, Murray, we've only brought you one. I'll get questions if I take you off again. 
But in your penalty takings, all right. Tyreek Wilson, yours is four. Andrew Unpronounceable, uh, three. Um, you might be the one to go off. Barnett's is six. Dylan Crow is a six. So, yeah, it's going to be Wilson for one of the weirdest substitutions you're ever going to see. I'm bringing Marriott on just to take a penalty. And here we are. It is indeed penalty taking time. I'm just going to auto pick it. And then we'll see who steps up. <sighs> okay, here we go, boys. Here we go. It's them first up. Scrimshaw, the man who took this game two extra time. He's put the ball down. He runs up and he's put it in the back of the net once again. And now, who's first up for us? Diaz Wright. Come on, son. Just, just smack this in the back of the net, please. And he has, but the keeper went the right way. And thankfully, the ball has gone in the back of the net. And now, Milovanovic for Yeovil. He starts his run up right now. And he's gone. He's got it in the back of the net. Keeper's gone wrong. Adam Marriott, the freshest man in this whole stadium. Oh, is my gamble going to pay off? He suits and thankfully he scored. Could you imagine the abuse I'd get if he missed? And now Smith for Yeovil. Puts the ball down once again. Runs up and her oh, I thought Herbin saved it there, but my eyes did deceive me. And now Ewan Murray... Off the bench, what can he do? You're good with free kicks. What are you like with penalties? You're decent. 3-3 three, three after three penalties. Taken a piece. Jones now with the ball. He again puts it down. Runs up. And he's at the post. Yes. Come on, son. Yes. And now Dylan Crow the right back. What can Crow do here? If he scores his penalty, he can crow about it for the rest of his life. And he has! He's put it in the bag of the net. We have got a big, big advantage now. If Herbin saves this penalty, he is a hero. As it's Davies taking the very long walk up to that penalty spot. He's taking his time, as is Herbin. Neither man really wants to get there by the look of it. But now, here we are. Davies. To take this all-important penalty. Davies runs up, and it's in the back of the net. We only need to score this one. If we score this one, we're in the playoff final. I think it's Mundell taking it from memory. I'm not sure. No, it's not. Oh, it's the giant central defender. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm not feeling confident. Oh, Barnett, just psych out the keeper. Just psych him out. Come on, Barnett. Barnett puts the ball down. And he scores it. We're in the playoff final. Yes. Come on. Ah, Rolos, I've just finished editing this video and it turns out my microphone cut out because I was celebrating too much. Could only happen to me. But if you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. I've already recorded the final, so if we can get 10 likes, I will get that video out by 12 o'clock tomorrow lunchtime. So please do smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. We've got not just this series, we've got the India Building a Nation Challenge series, which is proving really popular. Thank you everyone who is watching that. We've also got the FM20 Five Years On series, and we've got the Real Madrid Classic League series. So, yep, check all that good stuff out. Check out all the other lads in the Passion for FM team. All their details are down below. And check out the Passion for FM website, Discord, Twitter and the Facebook 
thank you so much for watching. I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.